Run. Well, hello, friends. Wolfgore here, and welcome back to Seven Days to Die. We are on the morning of day nine, and we've got a lot of stuff to do today, as per usual. But we're not going to be going out and looting as much as I would like to. We really need to get started on our horde base over here. And we are also going to go out and going to mine some coal. We need coal. We have plenty of nitrate powder right now, but I want to make more gunpowder so we can make more of these pipe bombs because they've been working for me a lot. I really am enjoying the explosives more than I ever have so in the past. And speaking of explosives, we've got five skill points that I want to spend. And the first point is going to go into Demolitions Expert. This is just going to make all of our explosives do better, uh, reload faster, increase their damage slightly, all that good stuff. Then we're going to come over to the Strength Tree. We're going to throw two points straight into Strength. And then we're going to grab Pummel Pete rank 3 and Sexual Tyrannosaurus rank 3. Uh, we are now going to get 20 stamina back on Killing Blows, so double what we had. Further reduces uh, the cost of melee attacks with our weapons and our tools. And Pummel Pete is, of course, just going to increase our damage more. Plus, having higher strength uh, up to level 5 is going to increase our headshot damage by up to 240% now. So, all in all, good upgrades there. I also need to get some food cooking in our little cook fire right here because we are literally out of food and we're not even full. So let's get all the grilled meat cooking that we can. We got all that from Bob's Boars yesterday. Just throwing wood on the ground like it grows on trees. And the last thing I want to do is visit Jen. I think we'll actually start with that. Uh, take all of this stuff over there and sell it and see if there's anything we want to buy today. We might also run over and do that buried supplies quest. Maybe, maybe we'll start with that since we're going to visit Jen anyways. Then we can turn it in. And I do want some more clay. So yeah, I think we're going to go do this Buried Supplies, go see Jen, sell our stuff, buy anything she has to sell. And then we're going to do some work on our Horde base, and at some point we're going to mine some coal today. And depending on what time it is, we'll see what else we get up to. Hi, buddy. Once upon a time, you were scary. But not anymore. I'm also going to chop some trees down while we're here. Uh, starting our horde base is going to take a lot of wood because we are going to be primarily building it out of wooden frames and having to upgrade those, so we might as well chop down, I don't know, half a dozen trees, get a couple thousand wood before we get into things today. <laughs> so we've got about a thousand wood from chopping these trees down, which is a good start. And two things I really like about the burnt biome, like it has its ups and its downs, but the wood here actually gives you coal when you harvest it, which is, you know, it's not a big deal. It's not a ton of coal, but it, it's just kind of nice. And there's also really, really high tree density in the burnt biome, more than in any other biome, so far as I can tell. And it doesn't look that dense. You know, the, the trees don't look that dense because there's no, like, foliage on them, but it's actually very, very dense. And I find that in any other biome, I have to constantly be planting trees so that I have trees to harvest in the future. But in the burnt biome, the, the density of the wood is just so thick and everywhere that I never have to plant trees. There's just always plenty to go around. So there are advantages to living where we live. And there she be, the buried supplies. Let's not waste any time. We probably don't even need to use this method anymore, but I'm just going to play it safe. Let's see what's in the box. We got some food. And should I eat that hobo stew now? No, that's a little bit too good. Let's eat something not quite as good. And take that with us for when we're more hungry. Hello? Hello? Yeah, what the hell? Where are the zombies? Alright, well, let's just... Move on with our day, I guess. Saves us a little time. Oh, am I really that stupid? Did I not loot the supplies? Oh god, I am that stupid. There we go. Now we should have our friends show up. Probably should have upgraded these blocks, but, you know, I think we're going to be fine. Let's just deal with them very quickly. And try and make up for that lost time. Though it's not a big deal. <laughs> Get 
get one shot. Oh, that feels so good. All right, we got some sugar butts here. Um, let's go ahead and use one. Pick our duct tape back up because I want to keep that. Let's go do our business, then we'll grab that other set of sugar butts on our way out. Congratulations. Hi, Jen. I can make my payment to the Duke now. Three first aid kits. Don't mind if I do. Let's take that duct tape back and sell all of our stuff and check her inventory. You know, I think I'm actually going to keep this arrow rest mod schematic. I think it's kind of neat, and maybe we'll want to craft one at some point. I'm going to buy this steel chest armor. Might as well grab this gunpowder. It's not much, but I'll take it. I'm going to take this customized fittings mod. Um, uh, Might as well take this hunter's journal. In case we have to kill some bears in the future, we're definitely going to buy this steel armor schematic. And structural brace mod. And lastly, these shotgun parts. And that's going to be all. Nothing close. She does have some quests up to the northeast, and there oh, is another is trader fantastic. up in the northeast. Oh, There's five traders on the map, and I typically go visit the ice biome, or the snow biome trader who is up in the northeast fairly, fairly early on. And now that we have our motorcycle, that is, of course, going to be a good decision. So we'll head up there tomorrow, do a quest, and say hi to the snow trader. And before we get settled in working on our horde base, let's go ahead and get... I'm going to shoot for about 700 coal here. Alright, that was a successful mission. We got the coal that we wanted. Let's go ahead and read all three of these books. We can throw our custom fittings mod into our helmet. That's going to give us more stamina regen and mobility, which is a very, very good. And we are... What are we rocking for a chest piece? Just that level 2 iron, or level 2 scrap. So a level 1 steel is actually going to be an upgrade. I'm assuming this is going to get replaced fairly quickly, but for the time being, it's going to give us more defense, and we'll scrap it for parts later on. Other than that, let me get organized and see what else we're going to be doing. Oh yeah, look at all that food. That is a beautiful, beautiful thing. I threw this structural brace mod onto our shovel, as it's our second most used tool. And... Shotgun parts, we are looking at eight of them now, so we could actually craft a, probably a level two shotgun, but we're not actually spec'd into shotguns yet, so let me think about that. Let's come over to pump shotgun. We could get our level one crafted right now. I'm not sure if there's much value in crafting a level two, because it doesn't add another mod slot, and I'm not sure if it adds much, if any, damage at all. And we have 18 forged steel, Bring that back. And that's going to take 15. So yeah, maybe we should get that crafted right now. And then once we spec deep into shotguns, you know, like a week from now, we can craft a level 5. One pump shotgun order up. Let's also bust out this nitrate powder and get some more of this gunpowder cooking up. 608 pieces. Sounds good to me. That's going to take 9 minutes. Let's throw a little bit more wood in the fire. I also got some sand going last night, 500 pieces, so let's turn that into concrete mix. We're going to need that soon, and much, much more. We're going to have to find some time to dig stone. Uh, I also forgot to mention this morning, I took out those ceiling joists. I didn't quite like them, and I moved our ladder and hatch system from right there over to here. I just think this is better. And other than that, I think we're about ready to get started on the horde base. I'm just going to have one more quick look over what we got going on. And then we'll get to it. All right, I've got the nail gun. I've got all of our cobblestone and all of the concrete mix that we currently have. We're going to want to craft out some more frame blocks. Let's go for like 200. That should be good. And let's get a little bit more of our workshop upgraded. We can afford to do this right now. Our horde base is just going to be cobblestone for a while. But our workshop... We do need... You know what? I shouldn't have done that. There's actually going to be a hole right here. Uh, but that's okay. It's just 10. It's just 10 concrete. It's not a big deal. And we are going to want to make some progress on the roof today because we are starting to get vultures on Horde Night. And vultures uh, attack the roof. <laughs> and I, I don't want that getting broken in the middle of a Horde fight and having vultures swooping in there and attacking me. That could be a problem. So we're going to work on that in a minute. But the first thing I want to do is dig out 
sort of the foundation of our horde base. And it's basically going to be, I'm thinking a 13 by 13 square. Uh, you know, it doesn't have to be 13 by 13. It's just, well, hi. Oh, no, you don't. Don't you taunt me like that, you little son of a bitch. Little bastard. Trying to look cool in front of the rabbit girls. See what you get. Right, what was I saying? Yeah, 13 by 13. It doesn't have to be. Uh, that's just what I've done in the past, and it's worked out just fine. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And you also don't have to dig down. You can just put it on top of the dirt if you want. This is just, again, the way I've done it in the past. And it has worked out for me. So I'm going to do it that way again. Plus, we're going to get a lot of clay for digging up all this foundation. And, you know, you need clay. It's just one of those resources that you continuously need throughout your game. Let's get this pole thing out of the way. Is that going to make a big old mess, or is it just going to disappear? Excellent. That is fine by me. Okay, so I actually went too far on this side, which is fine. It's not a big deal. Let's start going this direction. All right, 13 over this way. And you know, I'm actually gonna break these two center blocks right here. This is gonna be our doorway between our workshop and our horde base. And it's gonna be a lot faster to break this while it's wet than after it dries. Now well, we got another skill point today. Let's throw that into strength while we're at it. And oh my God, 5,000 HP takes so long to get through. Just about there. And there we go, we are through. We're actually going to put two doors here, if I can. One there, and then one on this block on the outside like that. And we're going to turn these into iron doors. And the idea here is to make sure that the do zombies don't get the idea to come through here. We either want them here or doing what they're supposed to do in the horde base, but we are not to that point yet. So let's take out our forged iron, get two of these bad boys crafting out. We can reinforce these just a little bit while we're waiting. All right, so we have our foundation laid. Now we just got to go around and start upgrading it. We're going to try and get everything that we put in place up to at least cobblestone right now. Eventually it will all become reinforced concrete and even steel reinforced concrete, but for the time being, cobblestone should be just fine. I also went ahead and crafted a couple of these little dirt blocks. You can just craft them out of clay and you can just kind of fill in little problem holes like that if you ever run into that situation. Let's go ahead and reinforce both of these doors. So just like the hatches, you craft an iron version and you can upgrade it, and then you can also reinforce it two more times for an additional 10 forged iron each time. And it now has three health bars. And these have 2,500 hit points. So I'm not sure if that's 2,500 hit points times three. I'm not exactly sure how it works with doors, but that should dissuade any zombies from trying to get into our workshop. And if it doesn't, they're going to have a hell of a time beating their way through it. Can you imagine trying to do all of this with a stone axe? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's why we did the thing where we could buy a nail gun at any time. Good decision, right? Alright, it took 480 cobblestone to reinforce one layer. Let's see how we're, our supply is holding up. We're still at 2300, so we should be fine to take this up quite a bit more. Let's get two levels going on. The idea being the zombies are going to come in through these entrances and there's going to be a catwalk that wraps around this place one block wide. The zombies are going to have to jump up an awkward staircase, run around the catwalk, and we will be there to meet them at a certain point on that catwalk. 
and they're all going to get bunched up in a particular area, which will probably be right here. And then we'll be able to throw down Molotovs and explosives on them as they're coming up. And then as they get to us, we can fight them with melee. And when we're out of stamina, or when we feel like it, we can use our ammunition to get through them a little bit more quickly. But I actually want to head up on the roof and get a little bit of work done there. Because as I was saying before, we're having an issue with vultures now. And let's get this reinforced before we do any more work on the base. We are obviously not going to finish today. This is going to be a big ongoing project. I just want to get the bulk of it started today. So I do apologize that this episode is a little bit more uh, boring. Well, not necessarily boring, but less action-packed than your typical uh, episode that you've come to expect. But, you know, it's got to be done. If you want to build a sick-ass horde base, it does take time and a lot of resources. We got all those awkwardly shaped uh, angular blocks out of there, and we didn't have to do that. That was more of a, an aesthetic decision for me, but you know, it's when you're gonna put this much work into a base, you know, why not take a few extra minutes and make it look the way you want it to? And I want it to be square and proud, not angular. And that trim piece you can see off to the left down there. All of that's going to come off too, but I don't think we're going to focus on that today because we are running out of time. All right, let's get this whole top layer reinforced with cobblestone. That is going to be much, much more difficult for the vultures to get through. And there's one more layer down underneath this layer that we'll want to hit from the inside. And after that, I think we're going to be in pretty good shape. I'm actually going to reinforce these ladders here. Like, you could definitely make the argument that it's a waste of resources, that you don't need to be putting your forged iron into upgrading your ladders, but, you know, this place is going to have all sorts of little hatches and doorways and ladders and things leading to safety, you know, if something goes wrong, if I fall, if zombies, you know, clip through the wall and get in. So having, making sure that these don't break in some sort of unfortunate accident and giving them a lot more hit points is, I think it's advantageous. Ooh, our pump shotgun is ready. Let's pop that bad boy out. And I am going to craft some more pipe bombs. Let's go for 50, yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. In addition to the seven we already have, I really just want to blast through tonight's horde as fast as possible so I can have as much time as possible to work on this base off camera so you guys don't have to spend the next three episodes watching me build this thing. And I think the pipe bombs are going to be the best way to achieve that. Let's start by getting these wooden hatches put down. And these are rarely going to see use. They're mainly just there to stop zombies passing through this area. And I think we have... Yeah, we've still got plenty of iron. Let's just take these all the way up to reinforced. And if I have any time at all before the horde gets here, I'm probably going to go mine some more iron, but we'll see how that goes. All right, so we can pop these bad boys up. Let's try and get this door frame layer done very quickly so that it's just that much more difficult for the zombies to want to come back into this area where we don't want them yet. It's a construction site. They could get hurt. Okay, fantastic. I think this is going to be a really good start here. Obviously, we're going to dig out all the floor at some point and replace it. And we're going to be going up quite a bit higher, but I think that's a really good start for today. Let's close that. Um, I'm going to go dig up some iron real quick, and then we'll come back and get ready for the horde. All 
right? Just keeping our iron supply healthy there. Let's try and get out of this hole. And, you know, I'm giving it some thought because we just finished our pump shotgun. But I think we're going to stick with the AK for the time being. Because we're going to be specking all the way into shotguns. There's no point in using shotgun ammo right now when it's going to be at its weakest. And, I mean, we don't even have a full stack yet. It's like, let's keep using our 762. And we'll save that shotgun ammo for when we can get the most value out of it. That's my thought process right now, at least. Oh, look at all these pipe bombs. We're going to get through the ports so fast tonight. I'm hoping. And we actually have two skill points already. I'm tempted to get another point into Demolitions Expert. But we're already pretty far into the Strength Tree. And I'd like to get maxed out here before we do anything else. So... Let's just go one more point into strength. We're up to strength 7 now with our cigar. So we can now get Pummel Pete 4 and Sexual Tyrannosaurus 4. We should be able to pick those up tonight during the horde, which is going to make us a very strong melee fighter. And we will go, go to Pummel Pete 5 eventually, but you have to get all the way to strength 10 for that, which uh, is very, very expensive. So I'm not sure if we'll go higher than strength 7 for right now. But all that being said, let's kill some zombies, friends. Oh, rippers. Look at the little plate that we put above the door. I failed to upgrade that. It's one of the most important blocks, and that one didn't get upgraded, but it'll be totally fine. It's not a big deal at all. Why don't we uh, warm these guys up? Hi, friends. I got you a present. Oh, what'd you think of that? <laughs> 6,000 XP. Don't mind if I do. And that gave us a skill point, so why don't we throw that into the sexual Tyrannosaurus. And we should be getting 30 stamina back every time we get a killing blow now. So, you know, as long as we can line our shots up well... We're actually going to be able to swing for a really long time. Like, look, I'm just spamming power attacks. And my stamina hasn't gone down yet because we're getting kills. Feels good, man. Feels good. Here you go. Have a second one. Good. Not even sure the blunderbuss is worth it at this point. I just feel like I'm wasting time. My stamina is sitting at full. I've got tons of pipe bombs in the bank and Molotov cocktails. I think we're just going to sell that tomorrow. It served us well in its time, but that time has passed. I'm also thinking it is time to upgrade to a baseball bat. We are just spamming power attacks and it is very hard to use up all our stamina. That was unfortunate placement. I think the damage does go through the door though, which is nice. Still managed to hit them all. So yeah, Pummel Pete is... Pummel Pete's at three. Let's get that up to four. It's going to increase our damage even further. And that should allow us to craft level five clubs, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think we have to take it all the way to level five. So we're going to craft a level 5 baseball bat, which is going to hit harder, but it's going to take more stamina. So that's going to be better for where we're at. Oh, our first spider zombie. I hate these guys. They're uh, really difficult to deal with, fortunately. I think explosives are going to make <gasps> short work of them. Oh god. Oh god. Fucking... Oh god fucking die. Who did not care for that. Um, I really should have a real gun on my bar for if that happens. That's the first time we've really got messed up this playthrough. Uh, can I use a sprint? A splint? Let's repair the door. We have an ailment. We have a sprained leg. Okay, that's better than a sprained arm. That means we can still power attack.
guys done? I think they've had enough. Let me try and carve up as many of these dogs as I can before they despawn, because I want them bones. Alright, we got 88 bones out of that deal, not too shabby. Let's throw on our lucky looter goggles and see what we got in the bags. Painkillers, that's just fine. I think we'll actually take one of those. We're a little bit beat up. Bag number two, we got some food, military armor parts that we can sell. More food. Not going to complain about that. More meds, and some brass, some ammo, and quite a bit of cash. And lastly, some iron stuff that we can sell or scrap into iron. Not too shabby. And we got through that horde really fast. It's, I mean, we finished that before 1 o'clock, and that was, you know, obviously by far the biggest one we've had so far. Uh, so the main thing I want to remember to do tonight is craft a level 5 baseball bat. So we need forged iron, wood, leather, duct tape. All we need to do is grab a little duct tape out of here. Let's get one of these bad boys crafting. In three and a half minutes, we will have a much better melee weapon. And is there anything else we need to do tonight? I'm going to get my inventory organized and think about it, and we'll go from there. Went ahead and threw the laser sight mod onto our crossbow. That's just going to upgrade its damage a little bit. And it is time to retire our blunderbuss, but I'm not going to sell it. it. It served us well. I really wish they would implement something like... I think they do this in Minecraft, where you have, like, little plaques, and you can put weapons and stuff onto, like, the plaque on the wall. Um, but yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna hang on to our blunderbuss. It... It doesn't deserve to just be sold off like a piece of trash. We did get one skill point in addition to the ones that we spent, and we're gonna throw that into Boomstick. And we can go all the way down to Boomstick 4 right now, which is gonna make us real good with shotguns. That'll probably be what we focus on tomorrow. And I don't think I'm going to be focusing specifically on the base tomorrow. We're going to go out and do some looting, have some fun. I don't want to make you guys sit through three, you know, full crafting episodes in a row. That would be, you know, a little bit too much. So we're going to go out and do some looting. We'll do a little bit of base work at the end of the day. And, you know, sometime in the next couple days we'll have another big base building day. Because we need to get out of fighting in here. Uh, we can't just fight in here forever. But for the time being, it is holding up well, and we've got plenty of explosives to get through tomorrow night's horde really quickly and easily, and we can keep on making more of those pipe bombs. And I did want to check, uh, something that we're out of is the short iron pipes, and it looks like we only need 12 iron and 6 clay to craft those, so that's very reasonable, easy to farm these materials. So we can, we can keep cranking those babies out, and maybe we'll just end up being a demolitions expert, more so than even a shotgun or club guy like we planned. But uh, I think that's going to do it for tonight, and I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I love your faces, and I'll see you here next time. Bye.